guys welcome back to my channel um how are you guys i hope you're doing well um today's video is going to be a bit of a kind of serious topic i guess i don't know it's something that i don't really talk about ever online and i'm pretty sure only like my super close friends even know about this because it's kind of it's like a it's a really hard thing for me to talk about in general like it was honestly i don't i don't really ever say this to anyone but it was pretty traumatic to me and um it was just it was just a very hard time in my life so yeah i really hope that you guys enjoy and yeah i mean sorry if this is like a very triggering topic to you you don't have to watch it's still completely okay like health issues you know a lot of people go through them it's definitely not an uncommon thing and some of these things you know might be hard for some people to hear you know having family members gone through stuff and whatever but yeah anyway so basically in um i think it was i'm gonna have some of the facts wrong like as in like times and dates because i have horrible memory but basically i think it was 2011 i was in like what sixth grade i think i don't even know at this point but i it might have not been sixth grade I'm 23 now. I graduated in 2017, so you guys can do the math. I don't even know. Um, but I was like always sick, um, you know, throughout school and everything, and I was missing a lot of school. And to be like completely honest about that part is a lot of it was my anxiety. Like I had really bad anxiety and I just did not want to go to school. Like it the thought of school seriously like made me want to scratch my freaking eyes out like it was just the worst thing imaginable because i was just always anxious i was always dissociated at school like i was never actually there in my mind like that's what it felt like it just it was because i was so anxious and i never wanted to go and we noticed that i was just getting sick a lot too and we started going like i had i was always at the doctors i was already always getting blood tests i was always doing so many different things because we we're like why am i always sick i mean i think i just have a weak immune system if i'm being honest with you but at the time it was just like we didn't know and so one day i was at something some test and i remember we were sitting in a room and my like the doctor came in and was saying to my mom that they had found something like kind of concerning and they wouldn't tell her what yet and I don't, I remember my mom like being like, well, can you kind of say more than that? Like, can you please give us some details? They had to have like a special person come in and like talk to us about what they had found. And basically they described it, um, it's called atrial septal defect. It, I don't know if anyone has ever heard of it or have gone through the same thing, but um, it's literally a hole in your heart that is what it is and when people hear hole in your heart it's literally like it sounds like the end of the world and honestly it's not like a good thing like having a hole in your heart is dangerous definitely but um when you hear that you automatically think oh my gosh like she's gonna like die like that's what you kind of think but the the fact of the matter is is that apparently it a defect from birth so i had lived until i was like 12 years old it's not uncommon like you you'll be fine most people are fine living with it the only thing that matters is like when you're in your like 30 or 40s you have a really like high risk of having a heart attack so you should definitely deal with it when you're young but it's crazy because i had so many heart tests because when i was a baby they thought that i had a heart murmur and so i had so many heart tests done and they didn't catch a hole in my heart. Like, it was nothing that anyone had ever mentioned. Which they should have seen it. Um, it's kind of crazy to think about now. Because it's very scary to think that where we went, they just completely missed that. Like, it's a very scary thing to think about that I could have gone my whole life, like, not knowing until something really bad had happened. Because it wasn't even found. But it's okay because I'm okay now. But that's just part of the story, you know? So they say I have this atrial septal defect and obviously my mom is freaking out. Like, what kind of mom wouldn't be freaking out? Like, I didn't really understand any of it because I was just so, like, young. And to, I mean, I did understand quite a bit of it, but it was like, I was just kind of blocking it out. Because that's a scary, scary thing to know that, like, you are dealing with something that is going to negatively impact your life, like, a lot. And... 
I don't even know how to explain it. It's just when you think of like scary things that can happen to you, one of like the first things is your heart, you know, like something happening to your heart. So knowing that my heart was not doing the greatest, like in terms of being a heart, <laughs> it was pretty scary. They also said something about, I think it was the left side of my heart was slightly becoming enlarged because there was more blood pumping into that side or something like that. So it was just like a slight thing. And that's why like it was also pretty important to get everything fixed, you know? So my mom being amazing, by the way, I don't really ever talk to her about this. But shout out to my mom because she was honestly like a super mom during all of it. Like I'm about to cry even just talking about it because she wanted to get different opinions from a bunch of different places. We ended up with this place that is like one of the best in the united states for cardiology you know that's <laughs> that's a good sign like that's a good thing you know to know that you're going to somewhere that is be beyond like any expectation you could have when it comes to something so serious with your health you know but it, that doesn't mean it wasn't any less scary for me so there was a lot going on in my life at the time and i know we kind of put off getting any of the surgery that was required to fix this for a little bit they kind of said that like you should be okay early on in life but you do need to get it fixed before a certain age you know what i mean i'm pretty sure they wanted me to get it fixed before i was in my 20s because like anything could happen after like a certain age so we waited a few years and I don't remember, like, I have horrible memory. I think, being genuinely honest, I think I have, like, a lot of trauma from this situation because being a kid and getting, like, so many tests done and being around all these doctors that you're not familiar with, all these people that have to, like, use these tools on you that you don't even know, like, have, like, all these tests you hear the names of, like, EKG and it's just it's scary it's all terrifying not knowing what you're getting yourself into but yeah i don't have the best memory of everything for that reason i do remember um i was missing so much school like a couple of my friends i eventually like went over to hang out with them at their house and they greeted me like crying and hugging me they're like hannah we thought you were gonna die like we didn't know we just heard that you you had like this heart thing and you were out of school and it was just it like was crazy i, I didn't even think about it from anyone else's perspective because i just knew what i was going through and i kind of like distanced myself from a lot of people because i was terrified and i didn't want people to worry about me either which is another reason why i have not really talked to anyone about this because i'm seriously fine now like i have very little limitations on anything like i am fine i'm okay like i live my life and i'm okay but yeah it was it was at that moment like i realized this is honestly a very scary thing like it's like a very uncommon thing i feel like when you are young to hear about one of your friends having some sort of like heart issues I was like that was me at my school like I didn't really know anyone else who's going through that so it was very like it just felt very alone to be honest I didn't know if anyone else going through a similar thing which is like I'm glad no one else that I knew went through something like this but it's also like I just wish I had more people to talk to who had understood and knew what I was going through so a few years later is when we ended up getting it fixed it was so weird i didn't have much anxiety going into it like the whole time i just felt kind of fine and again like i think i was very dissociated from like the amount of anxiety that any of this had caused me so i i just felt like i wasn't even there like i was just watching everything from a third person point of view i was like you know this is gonna happen and i can't really change it i got really cool people and all of the like in every aspect all the doctors all the nurses everyone that was helping me the cardiologists everyone was so 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 amazing like i can't even describe to you guys how incredible everyone was and i'm very very grateful to all of them it means a lot to have people out there in the like health field that really truly care about their patients and want to make sure that everything is done right for you and they can do everything they can just to make you feel better 
anyways we were finally at the like i'm not gonna say where i went just because i just i don't know i i feel more comfortable not saying it but it is one of the best places in the world for cardiology my parents they are amazing and they wanted to be brave and not show how scared they were but i remember when i got this is gonna make me cry when they started like rolling me you know on those little like i don't remember what they're called the little beds to go actually get my surgery and i just remember how like terrifying it was um it's a very hard thing any surgery is scary you know any single one is terrifying when you have to be put under anesthesia but knowing that it had to do with my heart was like one of the scariest moments of my life if not the most scariest moment of my life my parents were able to like stay there for a minute before they set me up and everything and i remember when they had to leave i just started crying i was really really scared and then they had to like once my parents left they had to like had to start putting me under anesthesia and it felt so weird like i had been under anesthesia before but this time it just like it was the scariest feeling it was it was just like i was slipping off into like a place that i'd never wake up from like that's what it felt like in the moment i don't know like i know that sounds very dramatic um but that's what it felt like and obviously i don't remember anything from the actual like procedure but i remember i woke up and i felt fine i mean i felt fine and i did not have open heart surgery which was something that they had decided on pretty early on because the hole in my heart they were able to do this thing where they put this little like flower device over the hole in my heart i'll insert a picture of what it looks like right here it's like a flower enclosure thing that they put over it the tissue will grow around it and it just like stays there for your whole life it was very successful like it was pretty it was something that was like a little newer which is kind of scary obviously like right we trusted everyone like all the doctors and stuff the cardiologists to know what they were talking about so that's what we went with and i felt fine when i woke up but i had to lay completely flat for six hours afterwards and i don't know like someone with anxiety like that is just such a scary thing it's fine like i mean i've had times where i've laid in bed for six hours you know what i mean like it, it's once you know that like specifically you are not allowed to move or something bad could happen like it is terrifying completely terrifying but i did it and i remember after my surgery i was sitting in the little like outpatient i don't know what it's really called but i was sitting in the little room and the office was playing on my tv and it was just i love that show and it was just a moment where i just felt so grateful <laughs> i just felt so grateful that everything seemed like it had went okay and we had finally got it dealt with it was definitely the most scary experience ever <laughs> probably like ever 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 for me seriously i'm just so grateful that like i was able to get it done and everything went well and if you guys are wondering like i said before i am completely okay now i seriously don't have to live with like any limitations well i have a couple limitations like i can't get tattoos which sucks i think there was other ones i can't remember like maybe i can't get more piercings i'm pretty sure it was more piercings too because i wanted to get my nose pierced and i was really sad to find out but the reasons why i couldn't do those things because my cardiologist told me that i'm at increased risk for the infections to go straight to my heart so sadly i can never get a tattoo even though i want to get tattoos so bad um not like a lot but there's just a couple that i had really wanted and also i wanted to get my nose pierced really bad which sucks that i can't do that either but yeah i am okay today i'm just very grateful for my mom my dad all the doctors nurses everyone who took care of me yeah that is the story of how i had a hole in my heart which i do not have anymore because i have a device where all the tissue has grown over it every time they see me they say that my heart looks great everything looks perfect and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry if this was like a really heavy topic but i thought that it might be cool to talk about i don't know i have not talked about this online basically anybody very scary actually putting this out there I don't know why it's just such a personal part of my life and like something that i really struggled with for so 
so long. By the way, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of details that I'm missing or forgot about. But I just kind of want to give the shortened version because, you know, it's a YouTube video and I don't think anyone wants to sit around like listening to every single thing, every single time I cried about it or, you know, all these things. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!